I came to New Zealand nearly about a year ago now. Um, we had a pre-season here with West Ham. We stayed here in Auckland as well. So I'm trying to show some of the boys around, around the nice place what it is. Uh, we're confident. I'm not saying we're overconfident, but um, we've come with a, with a plan. It's the, f the first most important thing is to get through the group and then anything can happen, but we've got a strong team. I'm used to it, to be honest. I've grown up with it my whole life, so it doesn't affect me or anything um, in that way. But yeah, I mean, we're always going to be compared with different players, though. He was more attacking minded than me, but I mean, I've grown up with it and I think it helps me. Seeing it growing up firsthand, going to watch my dad play and everything, and it just runs in the family. Everyone seems to like football, everyone likes sports and I always go and support him, now he's a manager as well, so he always gives me advice when he can come and watch, he comes and watch, if not, we talk about how the game went or what I'm up to and it helps me, I think it helps me. It's a massive advantage compared to that other people maybe don't have. I like New Zealand, it's not my first time, I've got a teammate at West Ham, uh, Winston Reid, who's the captain here, so I've spoken to him a couple of times about what it's like here and uh, nothing, I know personally, how good they are at rugby. My brother is a massive, massive rugby fan and he, he just makes me watch it all. So we're looking forward to the World Cup in England in a couple of months as well. Everyone's really happy. They didn't know what to expect. Most of them haven't been here, of course. But I mean, everyone's been so nice to us. They've welcomed us, they made us feel, feel at home. We've loved training here every day and we're, just, we're starting to feel comfortable now, getting used to the hours as well, the time difference and just preparing for the, for the 31st of May. I mean, everyone's strong. Anything can happen, especially in the World Cup. I mean, nerves can play into it, uh, pressure. So you really don't know what to expect. Every game is important. Every point, every goal can change the World Cup. So we're, we're happy with how we are, how the team is. We've got no problems at the moment. There's a lot of strong teams, people saying Germany, maybe Argentina, but we never know. We fancy our chances against, against anyone. My team, no, I am. I mean, I've grown up in England, so it's, I'm used to the rain, the cold, everything. Some of them have got to get used to it quickly. We haven't got a lot of time to adapt. But I mean, once the game starts, it's all about the weather's can play a small part, but at the end of the day, the best team's going to win. And whoever deserves it the most will get through the group as well. Yeah, it's massive. I mean, it can get you a, a big move, a big, big club move, everything. I'm lucky enough to be a team in Europe and England who's doing well in the Premier League. Um, others maybe think that they like to change teams. I'm not saying that I'm happy where I am at the moment, but I mean, maybe some players it could get, get them the move they might want to Europe or to other places in the world. So it's a massive opportunity for everyone. It's massive. I mean, I remember me being small and going to watch my dad at training or things like that, and it just inspires you, makes you. I used to be, I still am, but football crazy. I used to go watch training sessions, stay in the cold, stand in the rain, just to meet players and, and just want to be like them and just grow up and maybe might even push them a little bit more seeing it first hand and want it more for them in the future and good luck to all of them.